And sometimes it would just be a place that was somehow special. They knew that something important was happening there, that there was some focusing point, some channel, some window to the imminent. And so they build temples or cathedrals or erect stone circles or... Well, you get the idea. There are churches all across the states, though, said Shadow. In every town, sometimes on every block and about as significant in this context as dentist's offices. <laughs> no, in the USA people still get the call, or some of them, and they feel themselves being called to from the transcendent void, and they respond to it by building a model out of beer bottles of somewhere they've never visited. <laughs> or by erecting a giant bat house in some part of the country that bats have traditionally declined to visit. <laughs> roadside attractions. People feel themselves being pulled to places where in other parts of the world they recognize that part of themselves that is truly transcendent and they buy a hot dog and walk around feeling satisfied on a level they cannot truly describe and profoundly <laughs> dissatisfied on a level beneath that. <laughs> you have some pretty whacked out theories, <laughs> said Shadow. Nothing theoretical about it, young man said Wednesday. You should have figured that out by now. <coughs> there was only one ticket window open. We stopped selling tickets in half an hour, said the girl. It takes at least two hours to walk around, you see. Wednesday paid for their tickets in cash. Where's the rock? asked Shadow. Under the house. <laughs> Where's the house? Wednesday put his finger to his lips, and they walked forward. Further in, a player piano was playing something that was intended to have been Ravel's bolero. <laughs> the place seemed to be a geometrically reconfigured 1960s bachelor pad, <laughs> with open stonework, pile carpeting, and magnificently ugly mushroom-shaped stained glass lampshades. <laughs> Up a winding staircase to another room filled with knickknacks. They say this was built by Frank Lloyd Wright's evil twin, said Wednesday. <laughs> Frank Lloyd wrong. <laughs> he chuckled at his joke. I saw that on a t-shirt, said Shadow. <laughs> Up and down more stairs, and now they were in a long, long room made of glass that protruded needle-like out over the leafless black and white countryside, hundreds of feet below them. Shadow stood and watched the snow tumble and spin. So this is the house on the rock, 